And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second deck of our 12 hour stream today. We got Championless Undying that we're going to be playing. And you may notice, you know, we got all the, you know, we're playing 10 different decks today, which are all over here. Uh, this Championless Undying, you see how it has the two Ds here. This is a donation deck. So this is a, a deck that a viewer submitted. They uh, donated for. If you want to see your deck on a stream and also for a YouTube video, it's just a $10 donation and you just uh, put your deck code and or deck code or deck idea. I can also build the deck for you if you uh, have an idea. Um, and, you know, you let me know when you want me to, to play it. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing Championless Undying. This is a good value deck, um, kind of a, an aristocrat style deck where we're going to be sacrificing our own things. We got, uh, you know, the Undying is our kind of our key card. Three mana, two two, that uh, keeps coming back. You can't, uh, you know, can't get rid of it. Keeps reviving. Um, the thing about the Undying is, so that's really, really good against control and removal. But against aggro decks, the whole camp block does mean it's kind of difficult to race aggro decks at times because it's only attacking for two for three mana to start with. But be, so because of that, and because aggro can be tough, we're playing three Radiant Guardians, and that really helps shore up the aggro matchup, giving us a tough lifesteal ally. So we got three of those in here. Um, and then, you know, we just got other kind of like value uh, cards and, and everything. I really like Blighted Caretaker. Um, works great with Cursed Keeper or Hapless Aristocrat, stuff like that. We have decent removals, you know, single combat on guard. Uh, pretty good removal for these uh, regions. Grizzled Ranger is a new all-star that just came out as well. So let's give this deck a try. Let's see how we can do with playing no champions. Oops, let's go play. And we're going to be playing five games over in ranked. Like always. We got Swain of Vladimir. I like that. Um, we'll get rid of Ruination in the opening hand. And I kind of want to get rid of the second Cursed Keeper. But I also kind of don't want to get rid of Cursed Keeper. It's a good hand. Alright, so we're going to butcher. So we get to attack. Otherwise, I'm just passing turn, and this is, you know, potentially seven damage or four damage and a trade or three damage and a kill, I guess. Round start, do one to everything. So this is going to put three bodies into play, plus those two is four. All right, we can go hapless aristocrat first. So they do something, and so they basically, I want, I want them to act and then be unaware of my saplings first. card's annoying. So now I can't really attack with these two. I'll still send those out. But if I attack with these, then they get to create a random crimson unit in hand. Uh, 
Oh, that's bad. Wow, that's really bad. Oh, that's bad. Ouch. The bloodier the better. Hmm. So I'm at five right now. Next turn we'll have six. We don't get to double these up. It's enticing to play a redeemer so we draw. But Grizzled Ranger is better. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Yeah, at least we got this undying. It's not gonna it's not gonna die too much. play more of this card. We need to play more of that card right there. Ruination, save me. The winter's claw will purge the weak. Save me. Save me, Ruination. These things are too big. Let's go. Ruination! And the Undying just doesn't die. <laughs> it never dies. What's dead can never die. Alright. Want to know? GG's. <laughs> yeah, Ruination is really good with un with the Undying. It's a really good combo. Yep, the mid-range Bricka. Connecting? Reconnecting? There we go. Vimerdinger control. Oh, we need our things that we want to sacrifice. This would be a good matchup for the Undying and a good hand for the Undying. But we're going to be pretty slow. Yikes. Can we just throw this file feast out there? Come on, just give me a spider. <laughs> Alright, Grizzled Ranger. You're what I got. Yeah, this just happens sometimes. It's sad. Yeah, just don't see any twos or threes. Or one you know, ones, twos, or threes, you know, like we 
We mulligan three cards. We tried. But... Sometimes it happens. Hmm. Ryukai, what's up? Thank you. Yep, we can't have the perfects every round. Was that it? Was that the punchline? I was waiting. Uh... Oh, did I just not attack again with my scout creature? Whoops. Perils of, of streaming while playing. Sometimes you miss some things. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Because that's easier than just blaming myself. You can deflect. We'll see how much that... 4 damage metas. Um... I don't want a single combat and what do three damage to Vi. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Even though that that like takes out a removal spell that I would have for. Um, takes out a removal spell I'd have for a Heimerdinger, and I could have killed the Shadow Assassin. For now, it makes it more difficult for them to block with anything. Let's go. There's the one two punch. Does she just say the word punch all the time? Is that all of her lines? They're all punch lines. Beauty charms while claws take hold. How do you ever kill this thing? Is that card impossible to kill? I fight for the fallen. <laughs> the no pun stream. You don't like punches? Yeah, I guess ruination, I suppose. I suppose that could work. This would be great to draw the Undying, or I don't know, something else that we want to actually sacrifice. so many resources to get rid of this thing. But if you're looking, we're, we're at, uh, you know, if this happens, they're at six cards in hand, I'm at six cards in hand. trying to transform my radiant guardian into being a, a two two so it wouldn't so their vi wouldn't die show them what we're 
made up. Yes, we do this. Now I'm now I'm down two cards though. Playing aristocrat and ruination, or like aristocrat, ruiner, butcher, pre combat, and then attacking. Like, I wonder if that's actually better. Like, what? It, like, they're a real spell heavy deck. Like, and have like one blocker. It may have been better. I'm just doing all this pre combat. They must have just drawn this card, because you know, while I'm in play or in hand gets plus one plus zero, so they must have just drawn Vi. What's the Oh, it's Vault Breaker is the spell? Man, that's not a good spell. That's a champion spell. Um, I'll just pass. Really need to chronicler that thing. So they would have both of these cards. So they would have two blockers. Let me go to attacks. Let me go to attacks. Yay, attacks. Okay, that could be that could definitely be a useful trick. Uh, attack you want to attack least amount of damage to most, because you you don't want to put the most first where then they, they're gonna do barrier lifesteal on like a on like the big thing. You want them to barrier lifesteal the small stuff. A uh, couple of reasons. One, because, you know, they're not blocking as much damage, obviously. But then also, we you know, want to be able to absorb soul. And we can also use this to keep them from gaining life as well. But what do they got? Free three two. Ridiculous. Mark of the Isles. <laughs> Done. GG's. They did all this stuff, tried so hard, but our top deck mark of the aisles. That was the card that I was saying that I was unsure about, that I kind of wanted to play some different cards instead, but that it worked out perfectly.
All right, looks like we're facing the same matchup. Let's get rid of this, 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 and try again. Yuck. Where's our, <laughs> where's our twos and threes? Yeah, I think Karina Control is still good. I've been, uh, I haven't played it myself, so I've been doing a whole bunch of new stuff. But I've played, you know, played against it a few times, and it's looked just fine, especially with, uh, with Vi in the deck. I want to just mark the Isles that have it die and then play Vanguard Redeemer. That would have been me. That would have been me spending one mana to draw a card. Do I still play? Uh, but as we saw, like that last game, I feel like Mark of the Owls can maybe do more for us than that. Um, I still just play this Redeemer and not draw. I'm gonna have Ranger, Guardian, Guardian for a while. Today we turn the tide of war. Yeah, I would have liked I would have liked to have you last turn. Would have glimpsed the aristocrat and then played this. We should probably attack twice with our team this time. blocks at all huh? no blocks at all no I, I don't gob I do not So we'll have the Vile Feast to take out this first floor be gone. I'm running out of. Uh, I guess I'm gonna run out of space. I wouldn't really mind if this was countered. Or, best case scenario is this resolves and then they do like static shock and kill both of my little one ones, my one one spiders. I don't know why they would static shock a spider and not my grizzled ranger, but. I want to chronicler the Grizzled Ranger. Um, 
can't we can't really do that. Yes, yes, again. Heimerdinger is busted. Still. Yeah, we won't yeah, we wanna get the 4-4. Four four because of this stupid spider. Maybe they'll mystic shot a spider. And not mystic shot me. Darn. Interesting. Interesting. Here we go. have a million elusives over there or like just a million a million turrets and what am i supposed to do kill these turrets they just play new ones i mean i guess i kind of have to i don't really have a better choice One elusive turret. Thanks, you got. Thank you, God. Yeah, glad you're glad still following, watching the YouTube videos and everything. Thank you, thank you. Happy to have you here. All right, I mean, so that's like a you know good turn for us. Like we got rid of a, a whole bunch of like really good turrets and everything, um, and we got rid of Heimerdinger. We're still looking at them having eight cards in hand to my five. So that's not great. I don't think I'm at ruination part of the game. So if I ruin Asian, they still have, you know, a ton of things. 
Uh, let's see. Let's do... So, eight mana. Do all of this. Let's on honestly, let's revive one of these things and just reset the toughness. Could get an extra 1-1 one, one with the Aristocrats, but honestly, I'd rather that have the extra 2 toughness than reset the reset and have it be a 1-1. One, one. Our ancestors are watching. Deep Meditation is a really good card. I just have a million guards over there. I can play Aristocrat, then play Butcher to make a 3-2 and try to, you know, maybe have, you know, set up Mark of the, you know, whatever they don't block, Mark of the Isles it. They have a million cards. Like, that's not going to work. Yeah, you could, I mean, there could maybe be some champions that fit in, but um, the deck's good enough, you know, good without, like, you don't really need champions, and, um, you know, so it makes it better budget deck for people to put together also. They should have a bunch of six-plus mana spells. That's their third one of those Flash of Brilliances, right? Well, that block's just worse. Uh oh. There's one of their expensive spells. No. Why'd I play that aristocrat? Ugh, I shouldn't play that aristocrat. Clears up. Just clogs up too much space on the board. Attack here just puts me down to four. Um, I 
Or it's such a low life total against a deck with a lot of burn spells. Attack. Ugh, attack. I don't expect us to, to win. <laughs> With those million cards over there, I expect them to have like four points of damage to kill me. Being, or they are able to survive here and then kill me with the elusives. So I don't expect us to win, but obviously we're trying. You know, we, we got, we have our mark of the aisles. It's our shot. Two and one. Heimerdinger got too much value for us. I think they made, you know, what, like six or eight zero mana creatures, something like that. Probably like probably about six zero mana creatures, especially a whole bunch of them being three one elusive free creatures, and do good. All right, but still two and one is awesome. Take two and one. All right, so the Fiora Garen deck. We'll keep Grizzled Ranger. All right, we actually have some cheaper things to play. That egg, did it move? No, I, th I think I think aggro decks are, are really popular. An atrocity could be nice. I could definitely see playing one atrocity. But you know, the this metagame is very aggressive. What's that noise? I could butcher. But there's not really a point of Butchering, because Butcher just gets us a 3-2, and they're just going to easily block with their 2-1, right? So it's like, I don't think there's really a point, because these are holding back their 2-1s anyway. Who does not know the name of All right, whatever they challenge with the Protégé, we will sacrifice and draw two. Sold on all these hapless aristocrats. There you are. My shield is 
yours. Well, with that barrier, I don't think it's. I don't think we have a positive attack with the rest of this. So that's still really nice trading for two cards with, um, you know, one half of a hapless aristocrat traded for two cards. So that's really nice. Slow down, will you? All right, let's mess some folks up. Make that trade. Thank you. Yeah, Ruination could definitely do some good stuff. Um, you know, I want to be able to get all of their cards with Ruination, basically. Like, I'm going to be waiting to cast Ruination until they're empty handed. That did not seem like a great attack. Like, they should have their, their tracker needs to pull the Grizzled Ranger. Post out of there. Show them what we're made of. What's up, Cythria? Let's go. In a long path to get here. Nothing stands in our way. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right, so we have the mana to uh, mark and trade with one of these. I think we would need to kill their Cythria. Good. If only we can, if only we could challenger this Badger Bear. So the Badger Bear doesn't block my Scythria. Bleh. That card's a bleh. Annoying. Let's draw a card. Turn the tide of war. Discipline or death. So don't want to, you know, it's not worth ruinationing it yet. You need to get more cards out of hand. Not playing the Grizzled Ranger though. I'd like to kind of wait till after Ruination. Well, I mean, now I guess we can play it. I suppose. Still have four cards though. I guess we need to get rid of those things.
All right, they're down to three. My heart and sword for Demacia. have all sorts of bombs everywhere. to like super late game and ruination and they still just have so much yeah glimpse is good and atrocity would be pretty nice right now kill Garen. You know, we're two for wanting ourselves to get rid of Garen. No. You are so late, the Undying. You are so late. Yeah, single combat is pretty nice here. I will bring honor to the Crown Guard name. If only your sister were more like you. So big. I know they're they're never stopping with these bombs. Never stops. Yeah, I think attack all is the best play. It's just too risky to single combat and they have repost. That's the problem is repost. I kind of want to, like, so I basically, I guess we have to attack out and try to get them to play repost first and then we single combat or something like that. Will not prevail. Hardly a threat. This will not take long. Huh. Them the blocks? My options are either have Undying fight Tiana or, you know, fight this way.
Killing Garen's more important than killing Tiana. So we went that route because if they would have breaking it up, um, they were going to be killing a, a creature that's going to be dying anyway. If only your sister were more like you. She will find her way. Since we only need to do three damage, let's go wide. Um, otherwise, a lot of times just resetting the Scythria to be a 6-6 six, six would also be nice, but we only need to do three damage, so we're going wide. It was a good draw for us, because put two bodies into play. Garen should be attacking as well. Break their ranks! Onward to victory. Yeah, it basically makes sense to just attack with everything. Just gonna block anyway. Protect the throne. All right, let's go. We got two blockers. I got four attackers. They're all lethal. Let's go. Three and one. That was a pretty insane game. Alright, going for a four and one with a deck with no champs. No champions. Yeah, they could have had like judgment also, but they'd already played oh, I guess three cards that cost seven or more. So how many do they have in their deck? I don't know. Or three No, the the Tiana's cost do they cost eight or seven? But yeah, they could have had a judgment. And, but oh well. Oh. oh, my code on my last deck that I uploaded on YouTube is wrong. Gotta change that. Braum is on the job. Okay. Uh, what? We're already on turn three? <laughs> okay, that should be fixed now. Can we purify this Braum? Is that a thing? Man, now I want some ice cream. I don't like... I don't like Brom's name because I just want ice cream every time I play against Brom. Go with the flow. I attack, they block, then they take heart their Braum. They're gonna be take heart and Braum anyway. Basically gonna have just ruination to be able to deal with that thing.
The problem's pretty good. It is easy, see? They're gonna play something, right? Play something. No! Play something. My shield, have you met my shield? Yeah, play stuff. Eight mana. Let's play a Grizzled Ranger. Bubble Bear. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Bubble Bear. Bubble Bear is sweet. Don't hurt somebody. The thing is, I definitely think they're playing more take hearts, right? And I kind of want them to take heart or do another thing before I purify. This purify can be really valuable. Um, don't want to use it yet, but I'm, I'm sad that I'm not getting any more Chronicler of Ruin value. Um, but I could definitely see them playing more of like the uh, plus eight, plus four. Oh no, I have too many cards. Can I discard? Discard. I need to go to discard. Bubble Bear. By the way, I, I never realized how fun it is to say Bubble Bear until this card. Bubble Bear. Really fun to say. All right, that's fine. What's over here? I don't need you anyway, vile feast. You're too vile. Draw a card. Either play Guardian or Aristocrat plus Chronicler and draw another card. We'll just play. We'll just play this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know where the Undying is. We never draw that card. That's okay. This is three bodies by itself. Play this thing, then we get three bodies. We don't get the spider. It's fine. I don't even want that spider. That egg. Did it move? The 
little bear. That makes sense. Harsh. We're still going to be playing another. No, let's go up to 10. Still be playing another Radiant Guardian. They're not Shadow Isle, so I don't have to worry about like atrocity. All right. But yeah, we can just wait for them to put more pump. On this thing or on something else before we purify. You know, it's just a 2 3 elusive right now. So strong today. Would purify. Purify wouldn't gain it toughness, right? Like, it wouldn't go back to an 0 6, would it? No, no, our, I would not say that our deck's the best deck for ladder, no. Alright, let's attack, let's attack. What is, like, the best deck for ladder? We don't know yet. I mean, it's it's just right out of the, the gate with the region. Um, or, like, with the brand new region, we're right out of the gate. No one hurts my friend. I do like the... Like, Demacia seems real strong. Um, I mean, I have a lot of decks that I like that we've been playing over the last oh, few days, and that's what we're doing today. We're playing a lot of them again today. I like the Bearman Quinn we're going to be playing later, the Sejuani Frostbite, the hey, uh, Fortune Aggro. Um, yeah, basically all, the, basically all of these decks, Sejuani Frostbite through Fortune Aggro, I like all of those and recommend all of them. They're going down to three. Hope burns on. Let us get <laughs> twenty four hour stream. Um, so yeah, so it's it to help answer your Quinn, I guess. If I had to choose one, I would probably say Bannerman Quinn, like maybe this deck. There. Yeah, and you can find, you can find all those deck lists there, Vins, under the, the decks command. Does that command work? Still, may need to redo that command. Hey, Chief Seth, good morning. B 
Be impatient. It's probably time to purify this one. GG's. I think we were real good being that patient. You know, we just got even more pump spells out of them. Got even another take art. But those... Oh, after I purified, I could have blocked. Right, because then it doesn't have elusive anymore. That's fine. They conceded, so all good. All right, four and one with champion, less undying. So yeah, definitely, definitely a good reasonable deck here. You know, if you want to play a, kind of a budget deck with with no champions, uh, you can do some work. This ruination was great. Um, so we have just oh yeah, the undyings are epics. So you have the six epics. Um, but yeah, lots of comments and everything. Did pretty good work. I liked the I liked the purify. That was a good attack spell. You know, like just one purify, one on guard. I like those kind of things. I talked about that I wasn't so sure about these Mark of the Isles, but they did play pretty well. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe three hapless aristocrats is too many hapless aristocrats. It's okay to draw, you know, like, you, you don't mind drawing one, and then it, you know, kind of helps, like, your your butchers and your other sacrifice stuff. But you really don't want to draw more than one. Like, this this was was our worst card, and you don't want to draw in the late game. It's it's really bad in the late game. I'd probably take out one of these aristocrats. Um, I do like Caretaker a lot. I really like those saplings and getting a little bit of removal in the deck. Um, so I wouldn't mind playing a third Caretaker. Uh, or also just, like, another... Another... Just kind of real good five drop that I like in this deck a lot of Swift Wing Lancer. It's like maybe a Lancer instead of an Aristocrat. Um, but. But yeah, there we go. So that's Championless Undying. The four mana 7-7 seven, seven that kills two of your units. I don't love that card. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that one. You really have to have a lot of setup for it. It's not it's not easy to have two things out that you want to sacrifice. There's a lot of times where you don't have things out that you want to sacrifice. And getting two, that's pretty tough. So I don't like it. Um, all right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And again, if you want to see your deck on stream, remember just a $10 donation just like this. And I'll play it through rank and... Uh, yeah, you can see your deck on stream and, of course, on YouTube. Thank you, WQ. Yeah, GG's. All right, that's it here for Champion Unless Undying. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.